Okay, so we're going behind the mic with the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. We're going to sample another white wine here. This is uh, the Marquis de Borba white. Okay, that's this one. Newman, yep. you're in charge of holding it up for, Matt, for Adam to take a picture of. And find my notes here. This is actually, now if you like Sauvignon Blanc, I like know, you I said, like uh, this mm -hmm. is really similar to that. The apple, citrusy, okay. really zesty. This is really pretty, really easy to drink. Okay, I'm totally in love with all these mm -hmm. whites you're bringing in. Everything, what do you think? Newman. I think I drink a lot faster than Nancy, first of all. <laughs> um, no, she's right. The, the, the whites are very crisp, very oh, yeah. refreshing, very... Every single one of them I love. Yeah. I don't even know if I can make a distinction. I'd probably have to have a case of each. Very now, good. when you're just drinking with your friends, do you do all that? Yeah, I have to. You can make all those. Well, you gotta, yeah, you gotta smell it. Because... Are you never he's not working, Matt? Are you never no, not no, working? No, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, taste is 80% smell. So if you don't smell it, you're not tasting it right. All I taste, I smell everything: food, uh, wine, everything. Um, that so might be one of my problems because, see, I I used to work with a guy who had really bad gas, and I'm convinced that my sense of smell is destroyed. So I just slam whatever. That's why I unhinge the jaw, like Nancy says. Just, uh, yes, whatever. I'll taste it later. That's talky talky. More drinky drinky. Okay, empty glass. Empty. <laughs> empty, okay. <laughs> Less talky talky, more okay. drinky drinky. I can Going on to the red. Okay. This is the, one of the same producers, the, the Quinta de Cabriz, um, but this is the red uh, on sale right now, $9.99. Well, Portugal certainly is for sale, isn't it? Yes. And a lot of their stuff, it's, it's mostly the northern Portugal, because southern Portugal, they do more of like tropical fruits and things of that nature, bananas. Uh, they're big on bananas over they there. They put bananas in there? No. Bananas? <laughs> they pull Why I happen pies. to have a banana right here. <laughs> they Whoa. were pulling up all their grape pies and putting bananas in. But that's, I mean, the weather, the climate down there, it's just, it gets really, really hot. And it leaves for acidic wines with not a lot of fruit. Okay. So the farther south you get, the wines aren't really as good. But in the northern um, area, it's just all rocky terrain. You get beautiful beautiful grapes. The weather's perfect. So. I love the way he's, he swirls the wine in his glass. I'm afraid I'll spill it all over So am I. I'm You're afraid aerating. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> well, do it on that well, that's why. You know what? I purchased here. an aerator. Right. Yeah. Watch this. Put it down here. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. okay. Watch okay. Watch this. okay. There we yeah. go. Yeah. And then turn it like that. That's how you get it. And then eventually you'll just be able to do it up here. Now, so let me ask you this, Matt. If, if you don't have an aerator, which kind of makes the wine blossom, <laughs> do you... I'm asking the question over here, a serious question. So if you're having people over and you have right. a red, a red's the only thing you need to air out. Yeah, correct? Uh, there's there's some lights, but it's rare. Okay, so should we just open up the bottle? You can open up the bottle or let it set, but a really quick and easy way to do it, pour one glass out, Okay. put the cork back in and hold it, shake it up. I would never think to shake, shake it up a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It does the same thing. I mean, There's a you're, trick. You're, doing a trick that, of the trade. you're using that air in there. Okay. And uh, that's what, uh, you know, you're just shaking up and getting all that bouquet out. And, and then once you uh, serve the wine, now obviously you're going to have that glass that, that's on air, on air rated, That's the one you give to Newman because yeah. he's going to taste it anyway. <laughs> okay. Smell. okay. I so can hear Portugal. We're going to smell first. <laughs> this is the Quinta de Cabritz. Oh. Now we did the white. This is the red. It smells nice. Ten ninety nine. Everyday price on sale right now, nine ninety nine. Great. From the Dow, so northern Portugal. Vanilla oak. You know, I, I drank my wine, but I can see the le remnants of the legs the on legs. this. Legs, yeah. Man, it made the glass look all pretty. And what does that mean with the legs? Let's see, I see that's, all that. That's wow. when the alcohol uh, basically evaporates from the air. Mm -hmm. That's the, the alcohol that's left. So there's leftover yeah. alcohol in that glass. So yeah. Sorry, your tongue's yeah. not that long. Sorry. <laughs> so if it's if it has really really defined, it means it's higher in alcohol. Uh -huh. If it's not quite as defined, then it's lower in alcohol. So this is higher in alcohol. This is this yeah. Is this is pretty like? high. This is a thirteen six. I'm guessing. It's thirteen. So. It's very good. What do you think? I haven't seen thirteen in a long long time. <laughs> uh oh, it's the week. Mm. It's very good. 
Nice. We'll have, we'll have all this on our website. Obviously, if you're on the website now, you'll be able to check out all the prices and print this out and take it into the Wine and Spirit store. See that? You just take it right in. But this specific house uh, decided to do the, kind of the same Portuguese varieties, but they did, wanted to make a dry red wine with it, and they did a great job. So, Okay, the are five... Most, are most ports dry? No, most ports are sweet. They're vinified right. sweet, and then they're... And you would appreciate this. They put brandy in it. Oh, yeah, it's really? fortified. You know, it's we, fortified wine. Uh, what's interesting is we may need to do a port... Nepal. We could do that. Yeah. yeah, that's in more of a fall. yeah, more of a like cold, cold weather yeah, thing. But yeah. we could definitely do that. That would be nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. okay so the okay, five S's. Next time. Okay. C. Okay. Talk right into the mic. Okay. C. So you're gonna look at the wine. You're gonna look at the coloration. Uh, hold it up to white paper to really get a wow. a good uh, idea Beautiful. of how what what color it is. Mm -hmm. If it's really really dark, you're gonna have a higher concentration. Okay. This uh, this might be a little bit big, but it's a little bit lighter in color. It's that dark red berry, a little bit crimson. So I'm thinking you're going to have some dark red fruit, a little meatiness maybe. Okay, and then smell. You're going to smell with your mouth open just a little bit because you really want to get all that air. <laughs> I almost got it up my nose. You're not supposed to snort. Yeah. He said smell, not snort. <laughs> I started dipping it like I was going to. He said mouth open. I was like, okay. Wait a minute. I have okay. a drinking problem. Okay, back to Matt. Back to Matt. And and then of course, uh, swirl. So and you want to swirl, swirl and sniff kind of at the same time. I like to sniff it first and then swirl and sniff again just to see how much you're going out out of it. So so see, swirl, smell. Okay, good. I thought I was trying to keep track. Are we on three or? Or three, yes. Okay. It is a good thing we're not on the radio at this okay. point. Okay. <laughs> Number four, sip. Okay, sip. You got that new one, not, not slug. I prefer Snip. slam. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And then spit? Is spit next? Or Because mm. I'm not a spitter. Swallow. That's my swallow, problem. Swallow. Or, swallow. Or savor. Oh my what gosh, you, what you that's wonderful. Do, what you want to do is really try and comprehend the flavors and pick out the different layers. So you definitely get that red berry that we talked about. Really? A little bit higher in alcohol, a little bit of that meatiness, smokiness, favorite. oak influence. This is a favorite. I'm not tasting oak at all, but this is really, really good. 89 points by Wine Spectator. Yeah, cherry pie. I get a little mm. bit of cherry pie. I'm getting pie. almost like a, chower, a sour, sour cherry. cherry. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And uh, uh, cocoa, maybe a little like cocoa mm. powder, like Dutch cocoa. That is. I think that's, this is the best. This is, this the is best really good. This is probably, yeah, one of the best red wines that we've had so far today. And I don't sip, I slam, but then I... Savor I, it? Super savor. Super savor. Super savor. Like <laughs> super savor. The succulents. Cheers, Matt. Very Cheers. Nice. So the basics of uh, wine tasting. There you have it. And good Portuguese wines. Mm. You really surprised us today, I think. Everything's very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Salud. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, wait, that was about a couple weeks ago. <laughs> uh, Memorial Portugal Day. Day. Memorial. Portugal Day is actually the 10th. Happy June Portugal 10th. Day. Is what? Portugal Day. Well, I think we should celebrate Portugal Day. Every day. They, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's their, like, Independence Day. No kidding. Yep. All right. So. Okay. Happy Cheers. Portugal Day. Time for an Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.